The last app we'll take a look at then is Lever, which is a health coaching app. Now the way Lever works is that as a GP practice or a CCG, I'd purchase a number of invitation codes and I would send one of these codes to a patient. That code would allow the patient to register for an account and to book their first one hour introductory video call with a health coach. And that health coach will remain with them through the entirety of their journey with Lever. In that hour meeting, the coach will help the patient to decide on their health goals. We'll also start plotting some of the initial metrics like blood pressure, BMI, activity levels, and explain how the app works. From that point on, the patient tracks a number of different metrics. Like I said, height, weight, uh, BP, blood sugar, it can also track mood, activity, and for a premium price, it can also sync in with wearable devices to pull that data through too. But the emphasis is less on the tracking and much more on the behaviour change and relationship. The patient will get instant messaging from their health coach. They'll be sent a weekly video summary of all of their progress. They might be invited into groups with other patients for group education. They may be sent articles or tips by their health coach. And of course there is also the ever-present countdown timer which reminds the patient how long until the next coaching session and that they better not fall behind. Lever is available as an all-in-one solution that provides its own health coaches, or as a software-only solution if you wanted to staff it yourself. If that's the case, you'd be interested to know that there is a dashboard that the coaches use where they can see all of their clients. They can track all of those individual metrics for those clients, and they can also measure their engagement level. So they can recognize when engagement is dipping and help support those, those clients a little bit more. Overall, I love the emphasis of this app on behavior and relationship. One of the common criticisms of digital health is that it underplays the importance of human interaction in health. And for me, this brings that right to the fore. It's a bit of a shame that the basic version of the app doesn't allow integration with wearables because I think manually entering some of that data in could erode your engagement over time. And I think there is still room for this app to integrate with the health record. At the moment, for me as a GP, if a patient was struggling with smoking or weight loss, I wouldn't necessarily know about it, even though it's something I could help with. So if there's the option in the future to better integrate so we can get that wraparound care for patients, I think all the better. On the whole though, this is a powerful tool for behavior change, whether it's for your diabetics, those with cardiovascular disease, or just someone else where you want a robust lifestyle intervention to improve their health going forward.